Uh, but there's still quite a lot happening, like we said. You know, the transfer activities really kicked up a big gear. Uh, but even before we get into that, I just want to get this uh, out the way first. The women's half one is started, it's ongoing in Cameroon. Uh, sorry, in Morocco. They are hosting the competition. Um, while that was happening, CAV held an executive committee meeting today. And from that executive committee meeting, the Confederation of African Football had decided that AFCON 2023, which was scheduled to come off in June and July 2023 in Cote d'Ivoire, has now been pushed forward six months. So it's been postponed or it's been pushed to January and February 2024. So for the third AFCON tournament in a row, there's been a change in either the host nation or the timing of the competition. So next year, the whole of 2023, there will not be an AFCON competition. All right? Uh, there will not be an AFCON competition. The main reason being the Ivorian Meteorological Services have uh, stated that in June and July, there will be so much rain in Cote d'Ivoire, several of the match venues would actually be submerged in water. So we can't play the tournament in, uh, in June. Coach, quick thoughts on that? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Is because it? we always know. Because, no, because look at what is happening in that crowd. We know. It's June and July, you can't play football. No, but are we saying that we can, as Africans, we can build stadia that can resist, that can resist these things? Is it? Look, the world is completely evolved. Mm -hmm. And every now and then, there are no technology out there to withstand these things. I always, look, if this, even in the, uh, when there's snow, they play. They play. Yeah. Water. We can't build stadia, give it a proper modern drainage system. That will allow the water to just vanish. As, as and when it falls down, dissipate into whatever gutters or uh, uh, drainage, drainage system, system to allow the game to go. And for that matter, is it, if we are is saying... He, is he coach? That That's what I'm that, talking now. I'm laughing so much. You know why? Why? Is he, when it comes to Africa, it's not just the stadium. When it rains, going accessing the stadium, the road. Cries. <laughs> it's a problem. So the, is exactly, it, the road. Look, the road cries a problem. Okay, so let's say that they understand our situation. Yes. So under the circumstance, they've taken the best decision. Yes, absolutely. So let's all support agree. that. Yeah, Daniel. Man, it's just interesting. How they didn't think about this when they were making the decision to push the Afghans to June and July. So remember, they pushed it, they pushed and then it, they, brought, and it they back, brought it back, and then they pushed it back then Because again. look, this it's, is the second time this thing is happening. Yeah. It happened in Cameroon, it's happening yep. in uh, Cote d'Ivoire. So it means that uh, for most of the competitions that happened in this side of Africa, it's going to affect it because yeah. of the, the sort of weather that we experience in June and July. And it's just, it, it's, it's funny, but yes, um, it, it is, is what, what it is. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. uh,